Okay. Um, I'd I'll read a few poems from my book, but also some new ones. And I'd like to open with a couple of poems about what for me are grounding and centering practices. For those unfamiliar with Tai Chi, each of the movements within the longer form has its own name, usually rather poetic. Sunday morning Tai Chi class. First, stand on the bubbling well, then grasp the sparrow by its tail. Turn, spin. The white crane spreads its wings. Play the moon guitar, embrace the tiger, then return to the mountain. Turn, turn. Make sure to repulse the monkey while waving hands in the clouds turn. The golden pheasant is standing on one leg. The fair ladies weaving at the shuttle. Spin. Now step forward and salute the seven stars of the dipper. Step back to ride the tiger. Spin again, sweeping the lotus gently with one foot. Sunday morning, earth turns slowly on its axis while I turn on mine. Origami. A simple square is folded twice and thrice and look, a house appears. It's nothing but itself. Unfold it back to square and fold again. Another house, across each face, the creases from a previous abode. I'll continue on to a couple observations on the interface between human and nature. Elementary, a love letter. You enter what is empty and surround all objects in your path, adopt the shape of anything that holds you. Underground, you follow every crevice, fill the space around each root. Above, you'll ride a storm at poles or at the planet's waist. You cream at ocean's edge and swiftly shift your form according to the weathers, now ice, now steam. On slender skis, I've slid across your back in heat and cold, have waded overflow, have crossed your bridges, fallen in, been filled and fallen on in different moods. You'll crack a window, smash a boat, or gently follow a finger placed in the smallest woodland rill. Freeway exit. Wild geese fly the 101, not quite on these four lanes north and four south plus median, but above us, a ragged line, its leader purposefully beating wind, long neck reaching, heading east along the exit ramp to Bayfront Park. Cousin geese wait there, surely, enough to make a quorum, enough to form the necessary V for the voyage south, Silent geese, these, what with the tires hiss and bumpings over potholes, what with the whistle of winds around my half downed window, black beaks seem nearly open, but oh, I know they are honking. Chaparral. Your window widths enough of it tonight. 
not for this hour the bold outdoor stride of noontime, foxtail stuck to denim, the click of boot heels on small rocks, the hiking stick. Your blinds reveal the moon dark slope divided into neat gray slices. When even that's too much, twist the plastic bar to lay the slats flat against the glass, turn up the radio, blot out the yucca and the sage, the call of all that's feral. You know the wild is out there. That might be all you need tonight. This next one is a true story. Standoff. Afternoon is filled with berries. Just cicada trebling shrill breaks the dreamy silence. I am looking for the best to fill two pails, one in either hand, with succulent rondelles of blue. Snapping twigs, cicadas pause all wary of my passing through. And suddenly a ragged back. A trembling takes my knees, the eye, the claws and teeth, the nose of black. Be still, they'd said, and I comply. The bear is first to call retreat. I finish picking berries. Sweet. Heron, improbably on Main Street. A heron, blue, great, flew over her roof today in heron fashion. The first she'd seen to levitate above her carapace of asphalt shingles, gray. Where once Ohlone lived is pavement, is honking cars a glitter. Heron, the first she's seen this far from marsh or meadow, so far from creek or estuary, so far from meat and fish, flew in Heron Manor, cawed once, orange legs trailing, the wings as broad as bird is long, the plumy neck recurved, that odd boneless S. This heron flew over the house, veered west beyond the chimney, cawed, disappeared, left human being marveling and somewhat cheered at first, nature. Then she knew, frightening, all about the fall from grace that's made the sighting of a heron now and here, rare as winter lightning. This next one um, began, it's taken me 15 years to write it, began with the phenomenon I started to notice as a gardener about 15 years ago. Lament, the gardener speaks. We used to summer side by side the humans talking, singing, raking garden beds. Bees would fly, collecting gold, but now too many bees are walking. To sage and aster, rose and foxglove, they'd be flocking, buzzing, stings. We'd weed and watch with wary eye. We used to summer side by side, the humans talking, spreading fertilizer, brown and yellow stalking every stamen, humming under sunny sky, collecting gold. Now, too many bees are walking, shrubs are empty. Look, crossing pavement, shocking a single individual on foot. Why? 
We used to summer side by side, we humans talking, frowning about organics, lower yields, and mocking the huggers of trees. We have to live. We justify collecting gold, but now too many bees are walking. Climate changing may be not my fault, balking at the call to alter habits. Some defy, refuse to summer side by side. Some humans talking, collecting gold. What now? Too many bees are walking. Next, I'd like to read a couple of um, lost love poems, if I may. Then I promise it will, it will turn up. Dropped Stitch. Another sweater begun as if it were for him, as if it could ever be for him, as if he would wear it ever, as if he would see it ever. The knit and pearl, Angora of her life, the jute of her life, the sweater begun because the screen door has slammed for the final time and there is nothing more to say. Knit one, pearl two. The CBC, the final news of the day, yarn under, yarn over, tessellation of loop into loop. Somewhere in Saskatchewan, a jury is deadlocked. A crisis looms on Wall Street. The Leafs have won their third in a row. Her red wool, her white wool, fumble, unravel, pearl again. Tomorrow will be cloudy with chance of rain. Pearl one, knit two, pearl one. As sure as she knows that even the news will end sometime, the screen will go dark. And in the silence of rooms, she'll be able to hear the falling of dust as it settles on covers of books, on the pages of letters. As sure as that, she knows she'd give whatever years remain to her for the boon of ripping out that ruined row, of picking up Pearl Two the dropped stitch. This next one is um, a love song about a long, long marriage. Any of you who've been in <clears throat> really long relationships, I think might, might hear it. Deciduous a ballad for Tim. Our paddles dip in unison. We do this well together. My bow, your stern, the dog between. We've had a change of weather and only loons are talking now. Small snow, the empty trees, the delicate bones of hills behind. The black and white of these are all around our red canoe. Our silent maple blades in synchronistic change of sides drip with small cascades and circle after circle grows across the empty lake. Behind, a swimming beaver slaps and wake as crests crossing wake. You bring us in, I tie the lines, the simple tasks of docking. I'm carrying our packs ashore, but only loons are talking. The do, -si -do of making camp. We do this well together and hammer stakes in unison, unwrap the tent. We tether every corner tight. We kindle fire, cook. We meet the dark with sleeping bags, the dog between and books. She rarely barks. We have had other winters, true. I always wondered then about our weather, when and if we'd see a spring again. 
Beneath the trees, our pages turn, the Coleman lantern hisses, the dog is snoring. We exchange the briefest goodnight kisses. Making coffee, breaking camp, we do this well together. But white caps, wind, and lowered skies promise heavy weather. Changing of gears. Full moon, king tide. Breathe me in and out, draw me, take me in and out, carry, bear this body out to sea, out, bring me back drowned, sucked beneath, gone to ground, washed up, turned around on my home beach. Take my clothing, all, fling me naked out again, past the breakwater, land me on a stranger's beach, new, rearrange the eye, keep me out of danger, or maybe not. I'm dressed in aught but your salt and sand caught between my toes. Aquanauts, the jellies, the tiny crabs that cling, abalone worshiping the moon, seal queen, king, swim corridors of pleached kelp and kombu dulse. Each tide interprets every beach anew. On one, there was snow. This one is a causal, one of the few that I've attempted. Gazelle by night, spoken quiet in the dark, a tales unfolding, storyteller yet unnamed, unveiled, unfolding. At 17, her legs were long and lithe, she leapt across the seven mountains, a fairy tale unfolding. Troubadour is tuning, lute is all a hum, notes in major and in minor scales unfolding. Chambered Nautilus, room by room, walls as pearly lucent as a fingernail unfolding. Deep within the cedar chest are quilts she's made. Guests arrive, velvet, silk, her kales unfolding. Night bloomed jasmine. Leaves and petals are, though beset by worm and garden snail, unfolding. Beneath the Pleiades we met, and not by chance. Our thighs and shoulders were moon pale, unfolding. Fragrant envelopes, red with golden foil, surround each chocolate. Diane inhales, unfolding. And I'll end with a poem about something I've missed the most during this pandemic. Street Fair, The Trader Speaks. We'll pitch our tents by light of sun or moon. In every land on earth, we show our wares, white canopies above at dusk and noon. We'll drive our SUVs all afternoon, arrange our coolers, tables, benches, chairs. We'll pitch our tents by light of sun or moon to bring you terracotta, cast the runes, sell wooden toys, crocheted and knitted squares, white canopies above at dusk and noon. Across the aisle, 
A woman sells balloons and puzzles, woolly sheep and teddy bears. She'd gladly pitch her tents upon the moon. Another draws the people as cartoons. A chocolatier has samples that he shares, white canopies above, at dusk, at noon. In times of plague and war, we ask this boon, O Queen Bazaar, and hope you hear our prayers. Preserve our canopies at dusk and noon. Please bless the tents we pitch beneath the moon. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. I invite 